Over the years, Ubiquiti has become quite the big company with a broad offering of products. Now, it's obviously very popular for people doing this at home. It's also reasonably popular for people doing it in a small business. But what about the enterprise? Does it hold up? Will this work in a larger scale environment? What about integrating their UNVR, door access, and Wi-Fi and access points all together in one beautiful dashboard? Is that actually a viable solution for a larger company? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today, so let's get started. I want to start off by saying this video is not sponsored by Unify, but you could possibly say this video is sponsored by me because I'm going to be talking about a project that we did for a client using Unify devices. More specifically, this is about an install we did at a chemical plant called Viking Chemicals that gave us permission to do this video, and I thank them for that and for hiring us for this project. My goal of this video is to answer some questions about whether or not Unify can be used in a commercial environment. It's very clear that it's extremely popular in the home environments and small businesses, but what about large-scale deployments? In most cases, people go with the brands they know and trust that fall somewhere on a magic quadrant that their boss told them they could choose from to build out the project. And there's a good reason for choosing popular brands. Because when you're spending a few hundred thousand dollars and you are responsible for that project, you want to know that it'll work and it'll be supported. I took the risk and made the decision a number of years ago to start using Unify for our projects and it's done very well for us. With one big exception that I will not ignore or hide. I was very unhappy with how Ubiquiti released a self-hosted MVR and then later discontinued that system back in early 2021. I do understand the reason they did it though because letting people build their own recorder caused a support nightmare. And we know because we were doing consulting on Unify even back then. But the good news is they kept supporting the cameras and started building their own NVR system. And this is why it took me a while to start liking their new NVR hardware. And that leads me to here in 2024 where I'm actually quite impressed, which brings me back to this project I wanted to talk about. For this project, we're using 48 cameras tied to two NVR Pro units that are stacked together, so they operate as one unit. For those of you that didn't know, that is a feature they have now. There are 13 AI360 cameras, two G3 Flexes, 23 G4 Bullets, and 10 G4 PTZ cameras. We've not had any issues with the cameras from setting up all the way to installation. Also, since the platform has received a lot of updates, it's now a better system with more features than it was six months ago when we installed it. And yes, for those wondering, the firmware updates for the cameras and the MVRs have gone smoothly. I'm also really impressed with how well the G4 PTZ cameras work. The zoom on them is actually quite incredible. This project also used Unify Door Access, which integrates nicely with the Unify platform. There are six UAG2 Pro readers and 15 UA Light readers controlling the door access throughout the building, but for security reasons, I'm not going to show too much detail about their door access system. But using it has been a good experience, not just as an installer, but from the client's perspective as well. Ease of use is really key here. For the networking throughout the office, we had to run thousands of feet of cabling to many of the devices, even these peristaltic pumps, which had to have the cabling installed into conduits to protect them. All the switching is provided via four USW Pro 24 PoE and seven USW Pro 48 PoE switches. And the Wi-Fi is provided by 61 U6 long range access points throughout the building and warehouse. Now let's talk about the firewall. You may have noticed I didn't mention a Unify firewall and no, I didn't use a Unify firewall on this project. Give you a little backstory here. This started in 2023 is when the bidding process started, which we were among the people bidding on it. And then this includes other vendors who had to build out the building and everything else. There's a lot of coordination for this type of project for a pretty large scale factory like this is. That means that I had to go with what was available at the time, not necessarily what would have been available later. That means PF Sense fit the bill for this client and the requirements. So that's what we went with. Now, this install was done in earlier 2024. And if you notice that the Camera footage was from August of 2024. That was after a project was completed. And now it is November of 2024. And as I noted, there's been a lot of updates and everything has gone really smooth and really well. But these are important factors where we bid based on what we know, then we installed. And yes, the Unify firewalls here in November 2024 have come a long way and are probably, well worth putting in for a lot of these large projects now. And I feel I could put some trust in them. And yes, that is me saying that here in 2024 that Unify makes a much better firewall than they had previously. I'm really looking forward to what they're going to do once version nine comes out of the Unify software. But 
back to what we did install was that PF Sense, and it all works perfectly fine. Now, coming back to the Unify and the Enterprise environment, I know there'll be people saying, well, this is still a really small install and it's not a Fortune 100 company, therefore I don't consider it enterprise and feel free to debate that. What I think is important about this is this customer trusted us and we trusted Unify. So the trust was passed all the way along and we have not been let down. All the way here in November, everyone is still happy. The customer is thrilled that there's not a bunch of licensing fees attached and they like, as I do, a dashboard where you can get the illustrious single plane of glass where you have a lot of control over things. Unify is one of the first companies I feel to really give us a lot of good views and single dashboard, if you will, that's controlling door access, NVRs, being able to cross-reference data between those and having the networking all in just a series of pull downs tied into their application. But at the same time, not charging me monthly fees and allowing me to self-host all of this is there is a cloud key running this. And of course the UNVRs and a door access all being on-prem. This is huge in my opinion, and definitely the way to go. But I love hearing from you. What do you think of this project? Do you like it? Do you not like it? It was a lot of fun. We got to see a lot of cool machinery. They gave us a tour of the place. I really want to thank again that Viking One let me have access to this, let me share some of the footage and chose us for the project and gave us permission for all this. This is just, you know, really excited about that. And I wanted to give this as a real world example of us using Unify, not just in the lab here, so to speak, or in my studio going, hey, it worked. This is a production environment where they have lots of machinery, lots of of things connected and it's held up really well. So like and subscribe if you want to see more content from the channel. I'd love to see you in my forum. Please join us there at forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can have a more in-depth discussion about this and other topics. Also check out my video. You'll find a link down below and maybe a card up here somewhere where I also talk about a long-term review of a project where we installed about 300 access points. You'll find that video down there as well and I have a few more like this coming and uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you around. Take care.